Last month, thousands of you contacted your MEPs and managed to stop the EU copyright directive and save the internet for now. Just yesterday, I received a petition signed by almost a million people against the jury committee mandate. And although Stella, and I do believe continue. there is consensus about the goals behind this law, huge controversy still exists about the methods proposed. Something's not right here. The public recognised the dangers of bringing in a link tax and upload filters and for once MEPs felt the pressure from their constituents and enough of them broke ranks with their political groups to oppose the mandate. The copyright directive was proposed by the European Commission in September 2016 and has been debated in various committees including the Legal Affairs Committee where I had the opportunity to vote on it. It passed through that committee. A German MEP from the European People's Party, Axel Voss, was tasked with building consensus in the Parliament so that the process could go to the next step. Trialogue negotiations between the Parliament, the European Council made up of the governments of each member state and the Commission. However, in the Legal Affairs Committee, Mr Voss was unwilling to accept amendments to limit the censoring effects the directive would have on the internet. Worse still, he wanted to prevent MEPs from having a debate in the plenary where all 751 members sit once a month. This was thankfully defeated and we now have an opportunity in September to debate and amend the directive properly. This is where you come in. The issue of copyright and proper remuneration for artists is no doubt very complex and there are many competing interests from creators to media publishers, Silicon Valley giants, tech startups, online communities and everyday internet users. MEPs have voted to allow a debate take place. Now let's use this opportunity to engage positively with this issue and find a solution that's fair and proportionate and that won't censor free speech.